Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. I've got another video presentation that originated from a question into support at TomGentile.com. It's regarding the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. So to find that, let's hover over Stocks, hover over Stock Rankers, and then left click on RSI. Now with the RSI, this is the Relative Strength Index as I mentioned, click on the Help file. You'll open up another tab or window that explains to you what this is specifically. What we're looking at with the RSI is a momentum oscillator. It measures the velocity of a directional price movement by comparing the stock's highest highs and lowest lows over a period of time. What's deemed an overbought zone is 70 or above. An oversold zone is a reading of 30 or below. The student's question was how can we scan for stocks that are in that overbought zone or stocks that are in that oversold zone. So here's how to get that done. Let's go back to our uh, page that we have for the RSI and you'll see here there's the number of days for the moving average the number of past days to search we'll leave it at 70 the upper RSI and lower RSI excuse me lower RSI ranges are what we're going to change now I'm not sure what they're defaulted to but let's take a look at those that are in the overbought range and how you do that is you set the upper range to 100 you set the lower range to 70 so anything between 70 and 100 is considered overbought you can sort by two different methods. The most amount of days in that 70 days look back that the stock is in that oversold, excuse me, overbought range of 70 and above, or you can do the least amount of days inside. Let's go ahead and just leave it on the most days inside RSI range for right now. We can choose a stock or we can uh, select a list. Let's go ahead and select the S&P 500. Give us a few more stocks to search on and then click on search. When this populates, it's going to produce the list of ticker symbols and the company name. And if you want to look at the pick, you can do that, but it's just going to give you the candlestick chart with whatever settings you have on it. Let's go ahead and left click on that chart to make it disappear. What you'll want to select is the chart hyperlink right here. So uh, Altaba Inc. AABA, not Alibaba, but it looks like Altaba Inc. AABA. Let's click on the chart and it will bring up the chart page for you and you'll see the chart that you did when you selected pick now if you scroll below that it has the RSI and you'll see the oversold reading right here it's above the 70 line less than 100 and it's highlighted in pink you can go ahead and look at any other studies that you want but we want to focus on right now the RSI so it hasn't crossed below the 70 line showing that it's coming out of an oversold, excuse me, overbought zone, but now you have something that you can keep an eye on if this interests you. Go ahead and close out that tab and go to the next one in line. Click on the chart again and you'll bring up the chart page for it along with the RSI underneath. Now you can see these are on a pretty strong run up an overbought zone indication here. Let's go ahead and close that out and look at the least amount of days inside that 70 to 100 range. So let's click on the other scan, least days inside the RSI range. We're keeping it at that 70 and above. We're gonna keep it on the S&P 500 and then click on search. When the list populates again, I wanna show you something that I haven't so far, and that is the amount of days inside range column right here. It'll show you the number of days that it's been in that range over that past amount of days look back. So here's CMS Energy, ticker symbol CMS. Let's go ahead and click on chart, bring up the chart page, and then scroll down and look at the RSI reading. Same thing, it's on a very strong run up stock. The RSI was in the overbought zone. It's not currently, but it was in the past 70 days. But you can see it was in there for a very limited amount of time. Let's close that out. Let's do the other. Let's do the opposite of looking at the overbought range. Let's look at the oversold range. So we're going to change the upper range to 30 and then the lower range of 0. And that way we can see which is in the oversold zone between the 0 and 30 reading. Let's go ahead and leave it on the S&P 500 option bull still. Click on search and bring up this list. We're doing it on the least days inside. You can go ahead and start back over with the most amount of days inside if you'd like. Scroll on down, we have Chesapeake Energy. Click on the chart page and let's see what we get. 
just the opposite a stock that's been selling off for some time so now it's in an oversold zone well it was uh, the least amount of days in the past 70 days is shown right here it's flirting with going back in there but it hasn't just yet let's go ahead and close that out let's do one more reading since we want to stay consistent with the training here show you the most amount of days inside the RSI range this below zero excuse me below 30 above zero or the oversold range and see what we have here now it's not so much important to look through all of these and analyze these what my uh, objective here with this video is just to show you how to bring this up but let's complete one more look at at least one of these stocks with the most amount of days inside the RSI range there's the stock that's been selling off and it's still in an oversold zone and has been for a lot longer than the previous one and that stands to reason since we're looking for the most amount of days inside the range versus least so there you folks uh, there you go folks that's the quick down and dirty as to how to find them inside the overbought and the oversold zones replay this video re-enter the numbers as shown and start finding these stocks that based off rsi are overbought or oversold and take up you know your case studies from there i'll see you on future videos folks thanks for your time bye for now